group program. To create a group, group program, you want to navigate to the main toolbar and select Window. Within Window, there's an option for group program. Once you have selected group programs, this window will open up. It will display all of the current group programs at the center. And there is a filter button here, which will allow you to search for group programs if you're looking for a particular one. On the right-hand side of that, there are filter options as well. So that can include deleted uh, programs or inactive programs as well. On the bottom right-hand side of the screen, there is also a duplicate selected group program option. And you can remove group programs from this list as well. And lastly, you can add a new group program. Let's add one now. The first tab here is Program Details. It's asking you to create a program name. We will create one now by typing in alcohol, for example. And I'll just say it's alcohol management. And this program code will automatically be generated when you create a program name. And you can decide if the, the program is active or inactive from here. Down here, you can provide a little description regarding the group program. I'm just going to say it's alcohol. Alcohol consumption management, and down here is the life span. So the life span options are open ended and time limited. So open ended means that there is no end date for the program. Time limited is that means that the program will end at a particular time, and you can set up the target end time over here on the right hand side. Since I'm unsure when the program will end, I'll just leave it open ended. Over here is the type field. The options are registered and non-registered. So registered means that there are only clients from the office of the center. And non-registered means that they are not clients of the center. And you can also provide some details here on the right-hand side. In membership, it gives you open, closed, and other. Open membership means that the participants are expected to be uh, different across sessions, or where new participants are allowed to join partway through the program. A closed membership is where the same participants are expected at each session. So we can just say it's open, and we can provide additional details here. So we can select uh, session nature, and we can decide if it's planned or structured in a particular way, if it's a drop-in allowed program or any other information. So we can say drop-in allowed. And over here, we can provide any additional information regarding the program. Over here is the source or reason. If you click on this drop down, the reason for the creation of the program or how the pro uh, group originated. So we can say it originated because of other community initiatives. And we can also provide details here. Down here is the primary location, so where this program will be taking place. You can say it's this clinic. Down here is objectives. So the main objectives of the program that will be covered, 
in this program. To add objectives, you will click on Add. And you can find a list of objectives here. For example, if it's for improving health, you can select improving health and click on this arrow here to the right, and it'll move it to the right-hand side. If you think all of these are applicable, you can click on these double arrows here, and it'll add them to the right-hand side. Once you're done filling out this section, you can click on OK. And now you can see the objectives improving health has been added as an objective. Down here is activities. So again, the activities that will take place within this program, you can click on add. And from here, you can find the appropriate activities. For example, discuss common issues and concerns. And you can click on the right arrow to add it on. If you want to remove, you would just select the option here and click on the back arrow to remove. So for example, if I wanted to add promoted development of mutual support, and I would just click on the right arrow, and I'll add it in, and click on OK once I'm done. So down here is the plan field. This will allow you to free text information and create an overall plan for the group if you have one. And down here is again another free text field to actually type in the outcomes for the clients. Over here is the View Staff button. If you click on View Staff, you'll be able to filter through staff that are assigned to this group program. Right now, there are none assigned. And we can also remove staff by clicking on this red circle to remove and the green plus sign to add. Let's add some now. Let's click on the green plus sign. And we can decide on the staff time as internal or external. Down here is select user. This is a drop down field where you can select the user that you would like to add. For example, if I wanted to add Ryan Potter and their role, I can assign that one here as well. So for example, let's uh, I make him a facilitator and enabler. And I can provide some comments down here as well. I can either click on save or I can click on save and add if I have additional staff to add. So I do have additional staff to add, I can click on save and add. Now if I want to click on this drop down again and search for additional staff, for example, if I want to add Laura Surgeon and her role, I can say advisor and I can click on save and add again. And if I click on this drop down, I can say, for example, Bruce Wayne and their role. I can say that they are the leader and they are also the primary contacts. So I can check this box here and click on save. Notice how Bruce Wayne is bolded out. That's because I made Bruce Wayne the primary contact. Now once I'm done adding the stuff, I can click on the X. Down here is the view participant section. Again, you have a filter option to search for multiple participants. On the right hand side, you can also delete participants as well and view their the ones that have been deleted. At the very bottom, you can remove them. And let's add some by clicking on the green plus sign. When you add participants, you can decide if they're registered or non-registered. And you can search for their name here in the search box. For example, if I wanted to add client training, I can type in their name and click on tab. And I'll open up the window where I can uh, select the correct client with the last name training. For example, if I want to add Wendy, I can select Wendy and it will show me some of her demographic information. And what you want to do next is the prior state. 
So this is uh, where you would decide if uh, the participant is uh, not meeting the program objectives or meeting some of the objectives. And you can enter the information within the details. So you can say, for example, uh, meet some of uh, program objectives. The outcome section is left blank until the program is completed, and then you would fill out this information. And you can also decide on a join date as well. Once you're done filling out this information, you can select save and add to add additional participants as well. For example, if I want to add and on the training and click on tab. And from here, I can find the correct client. I'll select training 10, and I can see that their chart number appears here. And again, I can click fill out prior state, so I can see need some of program objectives. I can fill out details information and click on save. So I've selected two clients to be added in to this group program, and I want to click on next. Now we are going to move on to View Sessions. We will click on View Sessions. And from here, we have this View Sessions window. Right now, there are no sessions created. The first button over here is Record Group Appointment Progress. The second one is Copy Selected Group Assignment. And we can also remove group appointments. And the last one will allow us to add. So let's add a new session. From here, we can decide on a date when to actually create the first session. We can say April 2nd, and we can start our start time. So we can say, for, for example, four p.m. to four thirty p.m. And you can provide a location. You can say this. And you can provide like uh, location details such as where it's exactly located. And you can see the occurrence is either single or part of a series. So we're just going to say it's a single occurrence. And again, we have a list of all the staff down here that we have provided. And on the right hand side are the participants. We can also add providers as well if we wanted them to be a part of this session by clicking on the screen plus sign. And we can remove the red circle. And once we're done creating this information, we can click on Save. So it's us saying that pop-up showed up, saying that we have to at least assign one provider. We have to click on the green plus sign. And from this list, we can actually search for a provider. If you just want to go to the first provider in the list, you can just click on this, green, this arrow here. And I'll show you the first provider, Andrea Huck. And if you want a set of providers, there is a drop down to search for a set of providers. And click on OK. Now you can see that the provider has been added up here. And let's click on Save. Um, before we click on Save, there is also an option to limit the number of participants for our group program as well. For example, if you didn't want any participants to go over 10, you can just type in 10 here. And now let's click on Save. So now a pop-up has occurred saying that the client doesn't have a birth date or sex specified. You can just click on OK. Just give me a little warning about that. And now you can see the session has been created here. And you can just cancel out of this. Now let's say, for example, the group program has taken place and you just want to update some information regarding the client, like take attendance and take some of the progress notes information down. Now, we go back into this Manage Groups Program section. As you can see, there's quite a lot of group programs here. Now, if you know the name of your group program, you can type it out. So, mine is alcohol. So, I can slowly start typing it out, and I'll slowly start showing me some of the options here. 
and this is my group program. I can just double click onto it, and it will open up this window here. Now, if you wanted to also uh, update some information, if you're targeting a particular population, there is a tab button up here for intended population, and you can select a particular population that you're targeting with the new school program. For example, if you are targeting older adults, such as 50 to 64, you can right-click on this arrow, and they'll be added in. And there is a category field as well that you have some additional information that you can target with the intended population. Once you're done, you can click on Save. So if we go back into the school program, it'll open up this window. Now we are tracking this information for that session. We want to go to View Sessions here. And over here is the date of the session, the start time, and the end time. To update this information, you want to just click on Record Group Appointment Progress. So it's asking to select a session, so let's select it. And click on this button. So up here, I can provide any issues that were addressed here by clicking on the green plus sign. And I can search for any diagnosis codes up here. And once I've selected one, I can click on Choose. Down here is where I can actually add any session activities by clicking on Add. And I can add any session activities at this place. For example, Promoted Development of Mutual Support. I can add that in. That's OK. And over here is Session Notes. So I can take any session notes that I have created and add them here. And over here is how we will track the attendance by clicking on attended, these check boxes here. And the same thing with the participants as well. Once you're done, you can click on save only. So this information will all be saved within the section, but will not be added into the participants charts. But if you did want to save this information, and update the client's charts, you can click on Save and Update Charts. And now it has updated the charts as well. Once you're done managing your information regarding the group programs, you can click on X here, and X, and X. That is how you create group programs and manage them.